Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Remote Viewing Tournament with Grinch Spicket. I took a day off, believe it or not, and in order to rest and prepare for launch day. This should be launch day, actually, the first day I make uh, this Let's Play publicly accessible. So let's see if maybe we can get a win here. Results. It's the coconut and the tray. I got one correct, or my ego did, or random chance did. You can make the decision yourself. Um, I had felt a feeling of something with AOL of um, concrete and kind of uh, smooth sides, uh, feelings of going down in and back out the top, and I matched that to this image. We have a, a success. What a, what a perfect way to launch a Let's Play with Remote, uh, remote Viewing Tournament with Grinch Picket. Moving on. I don't want to get caught up in things too much. We are back on the board here. And let's do a little judging to warm up. There's a lot of judging entries. I don't know if I'll do all 10 unless we do a speed round here. I don't know what that first word is. And I'm a pharmacist, so I'm pretty good at reading bad handwriting. Um, something white something bluish and then there's a picture of I don't know Godzilla what I don't know what that is if that's a I don't know what that is so we'll look at for um, something sort of white and bluish and or a shape similar to that which might be an open maw in profile I'm not, I'm not sure it might be Godzilla um, the top picture is a sunset or sunrise by a pier on a beach, somebody upside down, the, their legs splayed open like a hussy, and doing a yoga pose. I don't know if they're really there. I don't think they are. I think it's, a, I think it's like photoshopped. It looks kind of fakey to me. And then the bottom image is an open laptop, um, just like dropped onto a field of dry leaves and straw and hay and a stump um, but that has that has bluish and has some white I'm, I'm gonna go with the bottom image with a 40% um, confidence because of the, the two colors identified are very strongly matched We have impressions of round, orange, black, lightweight, bumpy, tacky. Somebody has an AOL or analytic overlay of basketball or orange. Those are what they're thinking or seeing is the image, and they're trying to get away from that in their head. Um, round, orange, black, lightweight, bumpy, tacky. Um, on the top image, there's a tabletop, maybe a background of a wooden chair. There's a glass with a, a brown, orange uh, liquid in it and a pink straw. It looks um, cold. I don't see anything um, tacky. There's some bumpy stuff. There's some black stuff. There's some orange stuff in the glass. The glass itself is round. It's not spherical, but it's round. Um, the bottom image is a building with a kind of a dome on top. It has like a Greco-Roman feel with pillars. It's in the middle of a forested area. Nothing strongly aligns with me. I'm going to go with the top image and I'm going to give them a good 60%. Next, a uh, yellow gold color, uh, gemstone, orange red, and an impression of a jogger. Although the person notes that their mind might have wandered off the target. Um, the top image is a plant growing out of a, a drain of some kind with a gray background. It's kind of dreary looking with a strong feeling of hope because nature finds a way. And the bottom is four children on a colorful bench inside of a place um, with some um, maybe Mediterranean looking or Middle Eastern looking men in the background. 
there is a little bit more of a yellow gold color in the background. There's some red. I'm not so sure about orange, except a little bit of skin tone. No gemstone. Um, Jogger, at least, is a person, and there's a lot of people in this picture. I would imagine the bottom picture with a 40% confidence and move on. So, um, the next one, impression of corn or something granular with um, questions of harvest, grass, glitter, sand. The top picture is an outdoor scene, maybe a park overlooking a, a city, either sunset or sunrise. There's an old style. Um, like city lamp poking up. The bottom is uh, an anime waifu, blue hair lying down on a tiled floor in a bathing suit. Um, actually, it's a photo person with very strongly colored hair and sunglasses close up on their upper torso and face. She's not very. Um, granular, and I don't want to think about what harvesting her would mean. Um, um, the top image, the reflection of the sunlight off of the stone ground has a little bit of a glittery feel, and there's a, a bit of a granular texture there. Um, there's a yellowish color, which might give an impression of um, corn or harvest. I'm going to go with the top image, but with a confidence of 20%. Next we have um, sort of only, only sketches, something that might be like a tornado or smoke rising off of a squiggly line that means a horizon next to um, a child's drawing of a window divided into four sections, kind of like the Microsoft Windows logo. On the bottom, maybe a, a sketch of a silo or a rocket. And then um, kind of a jagged line that might say BAM inside, like BAM, like an explosion. And uh, a sketch of a leaf. Putting that all together, top image, there's a horse with a saddle in a field kind of next to a stand of trees and some rickety looking wooden corrals, a bench, um, the horse is in profile, where the bottom is um, a teapot and a teacup and whatever that thing is that holds sugar for tea, um, like a still life photo in front of a bland background. Mm, I, it seems like there's more outdoorsy images in the sketches. Uh, then there are tea-like images, um, although um, the, the silo-like or missile-like structure is not too different from, say, the shape of the, the main shape of the pitcher for the tea. But everything, and, and there are some leaves on the tea, and there's a leaf that they drew. Um, the top has things that are more window-like, and the actual leaves, like outdoors, Maybe that's a fumes of the smell of horse poop rising up instead of a tornado. I'm a, or it could be steam from tea, although it doesn't really look hot in the bottom. But the BAM! I don't know what the BAM would have to do with a still life. I'm, I'm going to go with the top image and, uh, and there are leaves and um, there is a structure. I'm going to go with 20%. I am not sure what I'm looking at for this next one. There's some, some wavy, almost um, bumpy lines, and then three straight lines projecting out from a central line, and then an elongated leaf-like shape. I, I'm not sure. Image choices are uh, a close-up of a flower on the bottom, and on the top, some type of uh, stone carving of a reclining lady, probably the outside of uh, where body has been laying to rest, like a monument. Um, goodness me, oh my. Well, 
there are some petal-like shapes in the sketch. Um, I, I mean, I could, I could imagine, I can kind of see some of these same lines and shapes in the carved woman, but I, I'm going to go with the bottom image. It has, the drawing has a little bit of a floral or natural feel to it, a softer feel to it. I'm going to go with the bottom image. I'm going to give it a confidence of um, 30%. Here we have a sketch of what looks like a sunrise or sunset on the horizon. Some, it says um, sunset, field, distant. And then um, these don't look like trees rising up. They almost look like scarecrows, um, you know, or, or crucified men. Um, it's a little bit of a dark feel to it. Image choices are a woman reading a book by a dirty lake or a pressure gauge. Um, in, in a really weird circumstance, I can imagine someone seeing this round pressure gauge and sort of likening it to a large sun on a horizon, but um, that top image is actually outdoor. Um, I'll go with the top image, but it's, it's a low confidence, 10%. picture a drawing of somebody's hand in a kind of a claw-like pose and then there are three thick bar like sketches but they're at angles to each other and there's another um, horizontal line intersecting with them at, at about their middle of two of them and then there's a diamond shape with a dot in the middle that reminds me of like a, a map in a role-playing game that would just be in the corner of your screen I don't know what I'm looking at, except for the hand-like shape. The top is some helicopter with two people looking at it. Um, looks like it's on a ship. There's water in the background. And the bottom are some dice with one balanced as if it's loaded. I don't know how else it could stand up that way. Um, I think I'm going to go with the bottom image, even though there's people in the top image. If you think about dice, you think about throwing dice. Um, this hand looks like it could be in a position of throwing. Also, this diamond shape has a dot in the center of it, and one of the die has a, a um, has a dot in the center, and it's kind of a in an angle um, because of the perspective. As far as the bars go, well, there are some there are some lines in the picture made by the size of the dice and the shadows. Um, I'd say this, this picture really kind of feels like maybe throwing dice. I'm going to go with the bottom image. I'm going to give it a 50% because that, that slanted shape with the dot in the middle is a lot like what they drew. When you usually throw dice with hands. Let's do it. 50%. Uh, next one says a wing, something about the top feather, and then there's a sort of a sketchy drawing of a wing and with a line crossed through a top feather, and there's also a swirly dot. Um, next, um, the bottom picture is a plate of peaches or apricots, and the top picture is outdoors with a anchor on its side, like a display. And there's people, but they're not milling about that. They're milling about um, in front of a building in the in the background. Um, not much, not much, not much feather like. Um, not much feather like in each picture. Um, there's that rounded dot in the that could be something like a peach, but gosh, I don't see much in either of these. I'm just gonna say zero percent. one more and then we'll move on um it's really hard to tell because it's sketchy but i think that these are there are a couple people seated at a table in the bottom left of the image and then maybe some other people with a whole bunch of stuff scribbled all over it but that looks like a table and a chair of two people so i'm expecting an, an interior or a patio scene and the top image is a bird 
a bird, and the bottom image is a chair, a weird modern chair with a table. Um, so I'm going to go with the, the bottom image because there's a lot of, I think, furniture in the sketch, although there's nobody occupying it. I'm going to give it a 30% confidence because of there are some seat-like shapes and uh, furniture shapes. All right. I'm stalling before doing my own. Let's do, let's play. Let's play for Monday, September 14th. Let's take a break for a second. Warm up my hands. How was your day? Okay, we're back. And I'll take the coordinates again. Seven, nine, six, two, six, three, one, three. Okay. So I wanted to kind of repeat that videogram, and I did, and I can't tell if I was doing it on purpose or if it um, actually came spontaneously. But it was basically a repeat. Um, the loops were larger. Nothing's coming to mind. Let's try again. Seven, nine, six, two, six, three, one, three. Um, a feeling of mounted. I'm just gonna move on from here. So the top description says, a very narrow waterway with a short stone wall on either side. It travels from the top of the image to the bottom, crossing a grassy yard. Then the water disappears into a low stone arch. The waterway in the center opens to a wide circular pool. Blah, 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 shallow green, grass is short, shaggy green glass, grass, and then the bottom image, a light green metal statue of a figure riding a horse it has a hat and a circular halo around its head. It's holding a wavy sword. The figure has a long flowing coat or cape, maybe wings. The horse is posed as if rushing forward, head looking up and its hoofs all together as if in a gallop. It's facing a steel lattice shape of the Eiffel Tower in the distance. Many brown leaf trees. On the right, a rectangular office building. The sky is blue with several puffy white clouds. Um, I had impressions of little loopy dips and a natural feel. It reminded me of things uh, like bubbles on a string, like things connected together. And I had feelings of something more mounded and soft. I, that doesn't seem to me to be a good figure, a good fit for feelings of a metal statue. Um, nor does it seem to be an incredibly great fit for feelings of a waterway. Um, I'm not getting a great connection today. Maybe I'm nervous. Or maybe I'm a fraud. But I'm going to go with the waterway because of a sense of, of a connection. The waterway is kind of going under and through things and, and around things. Um, that reminds me a little bit of the sensation of a 
things strung together, kind of connected together. And I'm not super confident, I'm just gonna give it a 50% and say, let's go. So thanks for playing with me. I hope you enjoy this new series. I hope you come visit with us on uh, Remote Viewing on Reddit. That's r slash Remote Viewing, all one word. Uh, we'd like to see you there. Remote Viewing is fun, I think, um, and it's worth trying, and I hope to see you again. Let me know how you like this. Take care.